everyone and welcome to it. Welcome to another vlog of 2022. I don't know when I'm going to stop saying another vlog of 2022. We're in February, so... Anyways, welcome to another video. Today's video, we are doing another, another bookstore vlog. Guys, I am so excited. We are doing a bookstore vlog today. I'm actually taking you guys to Barnes & Noble once again. A few weeks ago, I did my first ever bookstore vlog and I brought you to Barnes & Noble. This is a different Barnes & Noble and it's better. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite Barnes & Noble in like my city. It's a little bit bigger than the rest of them. I think it's a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, and I just think they usually have like a bigger selection of books. So I decided I'd take you guys with me and we do a little book shopping. This was a super highly requested video after doing my other bookstore vlog so i thought why not let's go to the bookstore and buy some more books and then of course at the end we're gonna do a massive book haul as for if i'm looking for any specifics today i do have a few in mind there's a few colleen hoover books that i'd really like to pick up because i hear amazing things about them but i'm super excited to go book shopping and it's really nice because i usually go book shopping like by myself occasionally i'll bring my fiance with me but usually when i decide to do this type of stuff he is like working or something so I always go book shopping alone so it's kind of fun to like bring you guys with me because I don't really feel like I'm alone if that makes sense if you guys have any recommendations of books that you like or that you would like me to pick up and maybe review definitely comment down below and like let me know because I am seriously slacking seriously slacking with like book recommendations lately and then also I really like to know if you guys would want to see me do reading vlogs where we read the book together and kind of do like a book club type of thing that was another highly requested video and I just want to know what you guys think about it if you'd like to see me do that I think it'd be really fun to do it ends with us by Colleen Hoover as like a reading vlog because everybody loves that book so much and everyone raves about it so I feel like it'd be kind of fun to do a reading vlog with that only problem with that though is that i literally started it already and i'm halfway through so but we can still do a reading vlog guys like why not we're gonna head into barnes and noble look around try and find some good books really quick before we go in i totally forgot i picked up these two croissants for chris and i and i wanted to show you guys because they're like valentine's day inspired they're raspberry and cream filled croissants guys look how good that looks okay maybe it doesn't look too good on camera but it honestly looks so good to me
Okay guys, that was a really successful bookshop. That was probably like one of the best ones I've ever had and that is why this is my favorite Barnes & Noble. This exact one is the best one because they literally always have everything in stock and everything I'm looking for and it's just... Ugh. You appreciate that so much. The days are starting to last a little bit longer here in New York and it makes me so happy because when the sun goes down at like 4.45, I get so depressed. The sun is still up. It's still pretty bright out, right? I feel like the lighting in here is not half bad. I'm really excited to show you guys the books I got. So we went in there and I basically, whenever I go into Barnes & Noble, I really scope the entire store. Like I cover every inch of that store. I even go in the kids section sometimes because they just have like the cutest things. We went in the music section, which I really love about this Barnes & Noble. The other ones that are around me don't have a music section anymore. It's really weird. But this one has a pretty big and like extensive one. And I just like to go through the vinyls and they have movies and DVDs and stuff that's really cool to go through. We are going to jump in to this haul. I got four new books. So we'll start with this one because it's kind of like the odd one out. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book I have seen every everywhere on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook even. I feel like everybody and their mother has already read this. So I know, I'm late to the game guys, I know. First off, the title is pretty intriguing. This girl had seven husbands. But no, really, I've heard amazing things about this. I hear it's a really great story about Evelyn Hugo. I'll read a little bit of the back for you. Reclusive Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. I love that. I love a scandalous read. But when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant to write her story, no one is more astounded than Monique herself. To making her way in LA in the 1950s, to leaving show business in the 80s, and of course the seven husbands along the way. Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and a great forbidden love. But as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in a tragic and irreversible way. I'm so excited. This sounds so good. This sounds exactly like up my alley, guys. Honestly, this is going to have to be my next read, I think. The next book I have... I'm sure you can already tell. If you guys are like bookworms, you guys probably can already tell, right? Can you tell? Let me know down below. Can you tell what this book is? So the next book I have here is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I know, everyone's read it, except me. Ugly Love is one that I see so many other people recommend. They're like, if you've read It Ends With Us, definitely go to Ugly Love because it's so good. Let's see. It's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Spicy! Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they might have stumbled on the perfect no strings arrangement. Okay. No strings attached? I feel like that never works. Like in books, in movies, in real life. Why do people think it works? I don't think it ever worked. You're gonna catch feelings. What they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick to the two rules. Never ask about the past, don't expect a future. <gasps> That's so like intense, I feel like. <laughs> I really love the storylines Colleen Hoover brings to life. Super excited. If you've read this, let me know what you think down below. Give me some opinions. I hear it's amazing. Is it amazing? Look at that. It's like this beautiful lilac color with a cute little daisy in the middle. It's called All Your Perfects. 
This book cover, first of all, is literally perfect. So let's start there. I honestly haven't seen anyone talk about this yet and I haven't seen any reviews about this. So I'm going into this blind. Can a love story with a perfect beginning survive a lifetime between two imperfect people? Then, the last thing Quinn expected was to meet the love of her life just outside her fiancé's front door. I did not see that coming. A year after leaving behind their cheating partners, oh, okay, her fiancé was cheating on her, it's okay. She shouldn't marry someone who does that. Quinn and Graham are in a perfect relationship that seems designed by fate. I love that. Now, seven years later, their perfect love is threatened by their imperfect marriage. <gasps> Why? The memories, mistakes, and dreams that they have built up over the years are tearing them apart. The one thing that could save them might also be the thing that pushes their marriage past the point of no return. <gasps> That's scary. I don't know if I should be reading this. The guy next to me just honked and was looking at me and now I don't know what to do. The last book I picked out, can you guess what it is? Can you guess who it's by? Colleen Hoover, of course. I got another book by her. I feel like I'm really risking it because I've only read one book by her and now I just bought three more of her books. So, Ber Birdie? Verity? Is it Verity? This is a newer book of hers. It actually came out in 2021, so it's very new. A lot of people like it, but a lot of people say it's obviously not the typical style she goes for. It definitely gives me a more darker vibe, so let's read a little bit of the back. Lowen Ashley is a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin when she accepts the job offer of a lifetime. Jeremy Crawford, husband of best-selling author... Oh, ho, ho. Jeremy Crawford, husband of best-selling author Verity... Verity? Crawford has hired Lowen to complete the remaining books in a successful series his injured wife is unable to finish. Lowen arrives at the Crawford home, ready to sort through years of Verity's notes and outlines, hoping to find enough material to get her started. What Lowen doesn't expect to uncover in the chaotic office is an unfinished autobiography Verity never intended for anyone to read. <gasps> Page after page of bone-chilling admissions, including Verity's recollection of the night her family was forever altered. Lowen decides to keep the manuscript hidden from Jeremy, knowing its contents could devastate the already grieving father. But as Lowen's feelings for Jeremy begin to intensify, she recognizes all the ways she could benefit if he were to read his wife's words. After all, no matter how devoted Jeremy is to his injured wife, a truth this horrifying would make it impossible for him to continue loving her? What did, what happened? What did she write about? Why did she write about this if it was so bad? Never write stuff down. Sounds like it's gonna be a really crazy read and it's gonna put me all over the place. I feel like I have to read it for sure now because like I have to find out what this lady did and how this other lady's falling in love with that lady's husband. That's gonna be interesting, guys. That is all for my book haul. I have four amazing books. I am so excited to read these. Again, let me know down below if reading vlogs are something you guys like would want to see from me and if so what type of books you'd want me to vlog and discuss i think it'd be really fun to do like read a book together and kind of like discuss over the comments like about the book because then it's like our own little book club alexa ray's book club that sounds kind of fun it's my little car air freshener it says it's a good day for a good day and it's a little cactus i thought it was so cute that's why i have it it's from Hobby Lobby if you guys are interested in it. I think it'd be kind of fun to do like a reading vlog and do like Alexa Ray's book club with you guys. I would really love that. So let me know if reading vlogs are something you guys would want to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed coming on a little bookstore date with me. I love doing this. So if you guys like doing this with me, let's keep doing it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these videos. You like coming to the bookstore with me and book shopping and talking about books thumbs up go like this video let me know i'll wait go do it and then obviously subscribe down below so we can start a book club i post weekly guys i post weekly sometimes i post more than once a week too so it's free entertainment every week you might as well subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys in my next video